Hello and welcome back to another beer review with me, Ruku. Today's beer review is this. It's um, the Swiss company that I'm beginning to love so much. This is by Appenzellen and this is their Wesen beer or white wheat beer. Loving the design there. You've got a farmer with a sickle cutting down the wheat. And presumably his wife or a lady friend harvesting it and then bunching it up. Um, while there's a kid playing as well and some children there. In the background there also helping out with the size cutting the wheat so this is a 500 mil and is 5.2 basically says it contains hops uh, wheat that's all I can work out uh, again naturally brewed so they always use naturally brewed water um, I'm a massive fan of this company this Swiss company I cannot get enough of because they always make such great beers and they're organic so there's no nasties you know it's pure water from nature and uh, some of nature's finest ingredients of course so I will remix this beer as I always do because it's a wheat beer there's your cap it's like a coat of arms that says Appenzell and the trick to these pour slow because the head builds very, very fast on these. A lovely golden colour. It's got a slight hiss to this as well as I'm pouring. Go out and you leave a little bit in there for remixing but look at the colour does that even look remotely like it that does not look like a Wesson beer at all I mean that that's incredible that is um I would say very very clear you can see the carbonation streaming the head is a nice thick white foamy head that looks uh I should imagine it would taste like vanilla I'm going to skip those. Right, let's uh, crack on with the aromas. I, I, I don't get anything, really. <sighs> Maybe if I'm really picking it out, there's a small amount of aroma of wheat and uh, not much else, to be fair. Yeah, just a, a very light wheat. Maybe pale malt, even, so... Here we go. Cheers, everyone. Okay, that's interesting. Doesn't initially taste wheatish at all. Um, that's throwing me a little bit. So let me just... Uh, That's a tough one. That's a toughie. It's beautifully put together. Beautifully put together. Lots of prickly carbonation. That head is very foamy, expanding, and it does taste of vanilla. And of course wheat. This is a very, very light wheat beer. It's It's got like a real light wheat taste to it, but it almost borders into like a lager, and it's uh, thrown me, because I don't think it should be this way, but because it's made organically, in theory, this is what real wheat beers should taste like, right? Because it's organically made, 
Um, no disrespect to the Germans, they make fantastic wheat beers. Um, but for me, I just feel that it's sitting on the fence of an identity crisis. It's not sure what it is. But needless to say, there's definitely the wheat there. A sweet grain as well. Sweet grain, faint uh, wheat taste. Aftertaste is now becoming stronger. So I think this is one that you've got to drink more of before you really get the flavours. But as I'm drinking it, the wheat is getting stronger and stronger. So, yeah, okay. I admit it. This is one that you've got to really sink down and, and really take your time with. Because I feel that if you don't, it's one of those. It's kind of, you won't appreciate the flavour. And that head is still retaining beautifully. And having that to expand in the mouth gives it that extra mouthfeel, which is really cool. I, I, I really do like that touch. <clears throat> if I burp, son of a good beer. Just can't get over how light that is. And also, you can taste how clean that is from the natural water that they use. So that is a fantastic beer. It's not my usual type of wheat beer, so I'm not overly impressed, but I'm surprised. It has surprised me, it shocked me. So let's uh, give this a remix now. Always remember your swish and pour for wheat beers. It's the only way to drink them, but I usually sit, keep these separate just for the video. But if I'm drinking this at home, I would take a few gulps as is, see what the flavors are like. If I don't like it, I'll always remix it and pour it straight in. Um, sometimes, if it's like things like Blue Moon, Duvel, I always have to have it remixed. So, yeah, there you go, completely cloudy now, look at that, I don't think we're going to capture that, you can just see it, oh, just, no, I don't think we did get that, <laughs> it was like clear here and then just this faint, slowly descending cloudiness just went down, right, the head's looking even better, so let's, uh, Crack on because it is an opaque colour now, so it's been remixed. And that's more like it. Softer mouthfeel, more wheat. It's still got that watery, clean body, but it's less prickly on the carbonation. It's more toned down, it's more placid. It's there's a little bit more orange note coming in, a bit of banana as well. Mm. I prefer that remixed. I'm remixed, it's having a bit of an identity crisis, but remixed, fantastic wheat beer. So, what would I score this? 5.2 Apazelen Wesen beer out of 10. It's going to be a 8.5. I've had better, but I love it. I think it's nice. So yeah, eight and a half out of ten for me. Um, yeah, love it. If you see a bottle of this or anything by this company, there it is. Go and try them. They are a small craft brewery somewhere in Switzerland. And I'll be honest with you, I've never had a shit beer from them. All of their beers are all organic. So happy days. Till next time. Thanks for watching.